morning everyone. I thought I'd show you, I will show you where I am with the lovely concertina and the cards. I'll show you the stage I'm at, but I took a slight detour in between, well, waiting, waiting for your pages to dry is always a good idea to jump onto something else. Do you remember Bowl of Fruit? I am really, really enjoying Bowl of Fruit. It just kind of got stuck somewhere for a little while and now we're moving again. This, he's had his measurement. It's all been measured up, ready for a nice frame. And I've decided that I'll put him in the December exhibition together with, it was fatal bringing my peppers up here, but, as they hung on the wall near my board, the temptation was just too great. And I have to say, I think it is an improvement. I'm, yeah, I'm just loving it more than ever. <laughs> I'm loving, uh, so I'm loving what I'm doing at the moment. I'm so, so glad that I, I've come back to the vegetables. I went through my photographs and found a photo of pears on a We have a pear tree. We've tried to espalier along the fence and it's not really the right position for a fruit tree, but it did produce some wonky pears. We had a great visit to the lovely gardens at Wisley and I have a picture of, picture of hanging gourds gourds i hope that's the right word and i hope that's how you say it so i've got that i've introduced tomatoes i went back to the greenhouse pictures and found, pictures and found some cherry tomatoes we were growing so i have those so there are additions that ha have gone down in the concertina. I haven't even had a chance to get them on the wall yet. I'm enjoying using that concertina on the in the sofa studio. Not so much to do wet work, painty work, but it's a really nice time to go back in. And I'll show you what I'm, I'll show you what I mean. I'll get it out. I'll get it now. Ah, uh, where did I put the tray this morning? Up here. Wait, bear with me vegetables then. I dropped in one of my little birds. This is going to be a bit tricky because I don't think my arm span is quite enough. But the kind of thing I'm talking about <laughs> is having a li little bits of line work, it, uh, akin to just having a doodle really. That's the kind of thing that I enjoy in the evening. When, thing, when it's dry, um, you know, just, you just keep making additions. These are the gourds and some cherry tomatoes that happen to be pink. So that's where I am with my concertina. And I have, at this point, I've gone for, strange, the very first two pages. Hold on. Last night, I just put it on a piece of rough card. Yeah, so I thought that might make a really nice motif. I'll play with some glitter on this rough one this morning on the table before getting carried away. So versions, I will run with versions of that for the first Christmas card design. Very excited, very, very pleased. So this is my little experimental piece then. Do I need anything more? Do I need any more glitter? Right, let's tip the we'll tip the excess back in. What do we think? I think what it needs is maybe to strengthen the line or not.
Well, in this case, no. I'm not keen now at all on that. So back to the drawing board. So I've got my space here where the two trolleys normally sit with the top and in moving it to the window spot, chatting with Craig about it, do we want another two trolleys here or am I going to start to fill up the space, too many trolleys and get and feel and become a bit congested. So he had a really good idea. How about, I'll bring the trolleys back over here but in the window spot he is currently making a, a hinged fold down shelf bench. I'm going to have a shelf bench so that it comes out the same width and about the same length as the trolleys and then when I'm not using it I'll just fold it flat back to the wall. So I thought I'd have a pause here. I have the new shelf bench and the trolleys are back on the other painting area, painting wall area. I could edit that out, but I think it would be wrong because it's important to say that part of the process is to have some fails. That to me is a fail, but it's, part, it's still valid as part of the process because it tells me it tells me what not to do again. I can see what I don't like and I won't make that mistake again. I'm not practiced enough with the glitter. So practice, practice, practice. And I had the bones of it. I will carry on. This is the view from my window of the cabin. The nasturtiums gone mad. It's developed into one massive mound. As you can see, looking in cabin, it's dark and gloomy. It's very rainy out there. We've had days of rain. And I'm inclined this morning to stay in the kitchen and bake. I had another go with the glitter. So I'll get set up on the countertop. I can spread concertina right out there and film above so um and i can put lights on in here if i need to and i have a really nice recipe for it's a really old cookbook it's a book by jenny Riki. it's a really old marks and spencers st michael's cookery library a really old book i now can no longer tolerate too much sugar. I can't deal with yeast. All sorts of things in my general diet have shifted over the past 18 months and I have to say I feel so much better now I've cut some things out that were clearly messing me up. I think as you get older you just it's the body cannot tolerate foods. I used to eat everything and anything going with no problem whatsoever. I listen to my body carefully now. Here it is, wholemeal scone round with yogurt. The most delicious, almost like um, a soda bread flavoured scone. That's how it tastes to me. Introducing Big Tom, I have been making in concertina and on a few of the cards first sketches. Those became a bit stronger and a bit more glittery. I'm happier with this glitter application. I'm playing with some pears, another go with the peppers and a little go with the cherry tomatoes. I've got various stages.
that little beep is telling me I've got a few minutes before the scone ring's ready. I'm going to go and have a check up on that. It doesn't look much, but it is tasty, trust me. I've just realised that I've left the glitter and the glue in the cabin. Not a problem. I can let this dry. Quite happy with that at this stage. Let that dry and I'll just carry on working in concertina. I need to just keep going. I'll keep experimenting. Oh, what a week. I've been yo-yoing. It's been a yo-yo week. I will round up. I thought I would just try to give an explanation of the community post, a tab you can find on my homepage. If you <laughs> click on the notification bell, you get a drop down. If you click all, the bell, it's a solid black bell. It will give you everything I post in that community post box. I follow YouTubers and I had no clue. I had no idea this thing existed. I, I've never really taken that much notice of notification bells because if you subscribe, I thought you just get everything. Well, you don't. A little bit like Instagram for YouTube. If you are interested, click the notification bell. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear myself saying that. Click the bell, select all, and all will come to you. You will see photographs and messaging that I have put on randomly. It allows me to have a place to put things outside of the Thursday scheduled video. So that's community posts. I am going to get my head down on the cards because the exhibition, the winter exhibition in Tunbridge Wells down in the Pantiles, opens on Saturday the 3rd and closes on Sunday the 11th. I've got a few packaged, I'll put them on at the end. So next week I've got ideas for a few, a few Christmas ideas and I won't say more now, I will wait until next week. And also I think next week it would be nice to walk you down to the exhibition through the Pantiles. That's next week then. Thank you as always, thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, all the kindness, all the encouragement. Please come back next week and I will see you then. Thank you so much.